Hey guys, it's Holly and welcome on back to Portal Night. Now, as you can see, we have crafted up the Rangers outfit here. So our stats are looking a little bit better. I did turn off the helmet though, cause I think she kind of looks, she kind of looks a little bit dorky with the helmet on. <laughs> so we're gonna leave that off. But what we are actually going to do, we're going to head over to our archers station so what I've done, I've gone out and I've collected all the resources that we needed to be able to craft this Iron Huntsman's crossbow. So it says, usage requires Ranger level 15, which we are now, deals water elemental damage, strong versus fire. Dodge chance is 6%. So I think that's probably the best one that we can craft at the moment. Yes, it is. All right, so we're gonna craft that guy. Thank you. And I've also started unlocking a few more of these islands because I had to level our character up a little bit because otherwise we couldn't unlock that crossbow. I haven't found the merchant for these islands up here yet, which we will try and do in this episode. But I'm actually really curious about the quest that is going on down here. So maybe we might try and do that first. So we're going to a North Point and it may actually help if I bring my new crossbow down. <laughs> I didn't even realize I hadn't done that. That would have been bad. Ooh, it's all blue and glowy. That's cool, I like this new one. So there is going to be a fallen soldier up here. So, okay, so it sort of like freezes him. That's awesome. Uh, still not great against him though. That's okay. Just try and uh, dodge a few of these maybe. Oh, he dropped us a recipe for the explosion bomb. Awesome. I have obviously already been out here when I was exploring. That's how we opened up this world. So there is a yellow portal over there. I wonder where the other one is. All right, so there's another one off to the right. There is actually an NPC down here and I can't remember what she or he wanted. All right, she wants us to defeat three fallen soldiers. Okay, we can do that. We'll head back over to this castle here because there's one standing right there. It's like perfect target practice for us. <laughs> All right, stand still, buddy. I'm just gonna take you out. No, okay, that didn't work. It didn't work through the wall. How about just stand still so I can shoot you? Oh, he's coming after us. Oh, he actually hits quite strong. Awesome, so that is two down, so we have one left. All right, there's one in there. Awesome. All right, let's go see what that little NPC had for us. Because like I said, I, I sort of ran around these islands trying to level up our player a little bit, collecting resources that we needed, and I forgot that I actually still had an open quest for her. So try and dodge everyone else. Just head back this way. Dun, 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 dun. Return to Ella the Hunter. We're on our way, Ella. We are coming, we defeated them for you. Hi. Ah, can you feel it? So much better. Take this to balance your karma as well. So she's gonna give us some more XP and ooh. Is that a trophy? Complete quest. Trophy of a Fallen. That's kind of cool looking. Something for us to put up in our new house when we decide to rebuild. And oh, hang on. Oh no! I must have put my pickaxe down somewhere. Um, uh, alright, looks like we're gonna be using the axe. <laughs> I suppose whatever works. So it looks like the portal's just below us here. We probably need to go through where those pillars are. But what I might actually do, we're gonna we're gonna be a little bit cheaty here. We're just gonna we're just gonna dig our way down. <laughs> oh. There it is, I can see it behind our big glowy pet at the moment. You are like being extremely painful right there. Okay, so who have we got down there? We got a bomb gazer and I think that's it. So just you in here, buddy. It is, okay. Well, we're gonna take you out. Thank you, collect all your goodness. And we're gonna break open this portal, go see what that quest is. Thank you. And where are we headed to this time? 
We're going to to Broadside Bay. Oh, okay. It looks like we start underground. That is interesting. Oh my gosh, look at that guy. Let's take him out. What is that? That's a hollow pirate. Oh, he's got a gun. <laughs> I want a gun. <laughs> oh, geez. All right, we took that guy down. So what's he giving us now? He's giving us some electro quartz dust. All right, well, he definitely wasn't friendly. Um, it's a whole world underground, I wonder. Huh. Okay, we got some cannons. I did see a pirate flag flying around. So I guess this whole world's like pirate themed. Oh, look. Look at that soldier down there. He's got a pirate hat on as well. Let's uh, take that guy out. Oh, down he goes. And there's a little dude over there that we obviously need to go talk to. But I can see another one of those hollow pirates down over here. So see if I can get him to come a bit closer. All right, yeah, he's coming. And they actually, they look like they jump. Did he, where did he go? All right, he's down there. Try and take him out from up here. No, I'm not gonna be able to get him. We're gonna have to go down there. All right, hopefully there's only one of them. And not a hole here. Oh, he got me. Oh, I'm under the water. This is not good. Get out of the water. Way. All right. Let's, uh, let's heal up a little bit. <laughs> um, and I want that XP. That water didn't look that deep and then all of a sudden it got extremely deep. I wonder if I meant to go down in there. Let's go get all this stuff. All right, and I guess we're gonna talk to Captain Brinebeard. Hi. Off with ye stranger. Me crew hollow, me ship destroyed, me treasure out of my reach. A sad tale ye need not hear, though ye did just hear it. It all started when we stole that cursed totem piece. The totem piece would have fetched a mighty price had the whole world not fallen to pieces right afterward. A, I know what it does. The great beast of the world guarded the portal network and this lets ye find them. Ye wants the totem piece, ye say. First, you gotta do something for me. Alrighty, what do you want us to do? I want me treasure, stranger. Alas, I've long since forgotten exactly where we buried it. I entrust the map to me first mate. Problem being, the world broke. All me men were buried in that mine. So that's where the map be. You could dig your way in, or if you're looking for a more exciting way in, I suppose me cannons still work after all this time. Follow the mine to find and retrieve the captain's lost treasure map. Return to the captain, Brian Beard, with a treasure map. He said something about his cannons. How do I use these? Ooh. Ooh, that's kind of cool. How do I, can I pick that up? No, I can't pick that up and load that into there. Hmm. All right, so I just pick them up by hitting them. Can I go use now? Use. Awesome, all right, so I guess we have to do this a few times and try and smash a bit of a hole. Oh, I just got that fallen soldier with the cannon. He's not happy now. I actually thought that would have killed him. Oh, there's a couple of them down there. All right, so maybe I was shooting in the wrong direction. Maybe I was meant to be shooting over that way. I wonder. It's kind of hard to say. All right, let's... Uh, I don't think they can actually get up here. I think I'm too high up. Let's take these cannonballs and load this guy up. Get him! Just keep going. Just blow right the way through. All right, so we've blown some holes in the walls and the fallen soldier's actually headed out that way. So I guess that's the way we're going. I'm gonna try and take him out before we have to go out there though. Ooh, oh, geez. You're a good jumper. Way, get out of his way. Captain, you're meant to be helping me. I'm trying to help you. Jeez. 
These guys are super strong. That's crazy. All right. Maybe level 15 isn't going to be good enough. <laughs> I thought we were going to be pretty right. I thought level 15 was uh, not, not bad. Get out of his way. Whoa. These guys are like the pound hit. That is ridiculous. Oh, speak of which, I gotta show you guys something. I never knew this was a thing. Like, look, if I hit space twice, I do a double jump. Since when has that been a thing? Or am I just being a complete noob and you could always double jump? I've only ever jumped once, but then I noticed you can actually do a double jump. That is awesome. And I know it's probably not very impressive for you guys if you already knew it, but like I said, that's all new to me. So we got one of those dudes down there. Okay. I'd love to know if we're going in the right direction or not. Well, I guess we are, because it just said, follow the mine. So that is what we are doing. We are following it. Oh, and that looks like the edge of the map, so we don't want to follow it that far. <laughs> oh, that looks like that might actually be our map right there. Awesome. All right, can't see anyone else. Oh, there is a maggot down there. So we'll take that guy out. I don't think there is anyone else in here that's going to do us any harm, though. I think that was probably it. What is in here? All right, so we got some hearts and uh, just a whole heap of books and stuff. That's all right, so we're gonna grab this map. So I guess I just, do I use it? Oh, there we go. So we have the treasure map. Now to head back out and go take that to Captain Brinebeard, if we can work out uh, how we actually get out of here. <laughs> I'm gonna have to build my way out, I think. All right, Captain Brinebeard, we are back. Ah, you done well, stranger. That me map all right. Now, shall we get down to some real pirate business? Yes, give me the totem piece. Oh, is the, is the flag the totem piece? Huh, complete quest. So you got the map to me treasure. Now, what say ye go find the spot and dig it up? Ye get me what's inside me captain's chest, I give ye what's it piece. If all else fails, X marks the spot. Okay. Hey, that be the spirit. There be no halfway in piracy. Loot and plunder, me friend. Okay. Search for a red cross on the island. Dig up the captain's chest and collect the golden hook. Okay, so I guess we're going up onto the island now then. Alrighty. Build our way up there. And I really actually want to steal this flag as well. <laughs> if I can. I don't know if I can or not, but that looks really cool flying in the breeze there. So uh, we might... Uh, just take that with us. Oh, I can see it. There it is. There's the big X that marks a spot. All right, no baddies. No baddies. All right. Gonna have to use our axe though. <laughs> Could be a slow process. Let's uh, dig down. I wonder how far down it is. Oh, no, it looks like we're already through. Hopefully there's no bad guys in here and we're about to get ambushed. Oh, no. All good. So this must be his chest. Pretty fancy looking chest. Let's use this guy. Give me the golden hook. And we also got some gold. Awesome. Can I take the chest? I want the chest. Oh, no. I can't take the chest. Can I take the chest? No, it just gave me some wood. Dang it. Take the candles, though. Thank you. So I guess we'll just go take this back to... Captain Brinebeard, and hopefully he'll give us the totem piece this time and not uh, not tease us like he did the last time. Looks like you can actually get in going that way, but I don't know if those bad guys respawn or not, so we might just maybe try our luck going down this way and hopefully not die. Nope. Good job. Hi, Captain Brinebeard. Me hook. Me pride and joy. I feel like a real captain again. You've earned me trust, stranger. 
and ye reward as well. Take this cursed relic and may I never again lay me eye on it. <laughs> Ooh, it's a pretty one. Okay, complete the quest. Oh, and now I can trade with you? Okay. Do you have anything? Ooh. Captain Brian Beard's cur cursed saber. Oh, I can't use it because I need to be a warrior. Dang it. Ooh, Captain Brian Beard's old flintlock. And it needs to be a ranger level 12. That's pretty cool. Trident of the Sea needs to be a mage. Cannonball recipe. Got a hook. I got a Brian Beard's uniform. And we've got a wooden leg. <laughs> so we might actually get all of these. Thank you. And then we can be a pirate. Do I, I don't have a pirate hat though. I want the pirate hat. <laughs> we might also get the recipe for the cannonball because that was kind of cool. I'm definitely gonna buy the gun as well. 104. I don't know what, uh, I think ours, I think ours is already 122. Um, I really would have liked to have gotten the sword. That is awesome. All right, let's, uh, let's get the gun. Thank you. And I'm gonna sell him some stuff. I might maybe bring this gun down so we can check out how much damage it actually does. It's kind of cool looking. Oh. <laughs> That's awesome. And I don't even need to put any ammo in it or anything like that. So I wonder, oh, how about we try it on the parrot? Okay, so it's actually pretty good. Three shots and the parrot is down. Awesome. All right, so I guess now we just have to go to the next island, maybe? I'm not terribly sure how we're meant to unlock this next portal. Huh, maybe. We've got to get to this world to unlock the portal. So we're at Joran's outpost, okay. Um, I have a feeling it's gonna be another snow level by, just by the way this is sort of set up. But, uh, all right, we've got a fallen soldier up here. I wonder how good this gun is against him. Might help if I actually hit him, huh? <laughs> it's not too bad, it's not too bad. Thank you. And it's actually like when they when they get hit by the gun, they actually sort of jump backwards. Ooh. I can see it. Okay. So there's the steps. It doesn't actually look like there's a portal here. Huh. Well, I wonder how it's supposed to work then. Hello? Hmm, okay. This is uh, definitely looks like where it should be. I wonder, is there somewhere I meant to put this little gemstone into, maybe on the outside of the building? Let's have a little bit of a look around. All right, so I did a little bit of a speed run through. So I ran through the top islands, hoping that maybe that would unlock the portal on this island. It doesn't actually seem to work. So what I'm actually gonna do, I'm gonna escape. We're gonna go back to our title screen and I'm actually going to regenerate our world because I have a feeling that we may have encountered just a little bit of a bug. So let's try, all right, let's, uh, let's continue. And hopefully now that big boss is there. Ooh, it looks like it may actually be there now. Awesome. So if that happens to any of you guys, all right, just go back, regenerate the world. It will save everything that you have fairly well unlocked. That is excellent. Oh, I didn't actually notice this up here before either. What is up here? What does this say? Mine closed, keep out. Well, that just makes me want to go in there and explore it. <laughs> and I also didn't find a merchant on this island at all, but that's not to say that there isn't definitely one here. Now we've regenerated, maybe there could be. I don't know, but I'm gonna go down here and open up this portal. Ah, oh, check it out, that is cool looking. There's like a big 
head of some sort. I don't even know what it is. Some big teethies. All right. So we're gonna use it for the great beast to open its way. Find the totem piece gone astray. We have it right here. And I wanna place that up there, okay. How are we gonna, ooh, like that? Is that it? Did we get it? Yeah, we get it. So, but I'm not actually going to go versus this dragon boss just yet, because I don't actually think we are strong enough. What we might actually do, I'm gonna try and open up the rest of these portals and see if we can actually find the next island trader and see what island she has for sale. So as you can see, I fairly well opened up majority of the islands in this area up the top here. And we are currently in Mount Meridian and I have found an island trader. Looky here, looky, looky. <laughs> so this one down here is Bryce. Hi Bryce, let's have a chat with you and see what you have for sale. Ready for a vacation, why not purchase some land to build a little getaway? Sounds like a good idea, Bryce. So we have tropical islands, we have vacant beach island, marshland, swampland, and snowy island. It's also selling some brick blocks and some red carpet and some lanterns. All right, so I'm gonna have to sell him a few things. All right, so we've cleared up a bit of room in our backpack and how many do we have? One, two, all right, we should have enough money. All right, we're gonna buy one of each of these guys and go have a look at them. All right, so the first one we are going to go to is Swampland. Ah, okay. I actually really don't mind it. I don't mind the floor cover, like the purple color. That's kind of cool. I actually, I'm almost considering this one to be the next one that we build on. I, I don't hate it. All right, so this is the vacant Swampland. Then what do we have? We have the marshland. Don't know, I think it would bug me having all that green glowy stuff in the air all the time. I'm really kind of hoping that one of these worlds has water in it. So we can create our own little like pond and things like that. So this is the vacant marshland. What have we got next? We got Beach Island. Ooh, maybe this one might have water on it. It doesn't look like it's got any water. How can this be a beach island if there's no water? <laughs> Dang it. Let's go have a look at the edge here. There's definitely no water here, is there? No. All right, so this one's just full of palm trees and things like that. We've got some potatoes, we've got some palm fronds. Well, it's still pretty cool looking, but not quite what I was hoping for. It's a little bit of a bummer. So the next one we are going to is the Snowy Island. Yeah. All right, so we got a whole heap of these big old Christmas trees here. And we got some dead ones. We've also got a whole heap of the ice roses, which is gonna be handy for when we need to craft up some recipes and things like that. But unfortunately, I don't actually know if this is gonna be the one for us, guys. I don't know, it's all right. Like I love the look of the snow and everything like that, but it's a little bit blah, like there's not a lot of color or anything like that. So let's check out the next one. Next one is a tropical island. Come on, give me some water. All I want is some water. No, no water. Dang it. All right, well this one's pretty cool as well. I don't actually mind it. I probably would have to say out of the three, probably, sorry, four wasn't there. Probably my favorite one would be the one with the purple ground cover. Thought that looked kind of cool. So, but I think I'm actually gonna have to leave this episode here today, guys. If you have any suggestions on what island you think that we should be building on, feel free to chuck that in the comment section below. And I hope to see you all again soon. All right, thanks guys, bye.